in uh, Kristiansand and it's a windy day not that it matters but uh, and I don't know if you can see it this whole dock is a floating dock so it moves uh, like crazy and you feel kind of like drunk when you when you walk on it and here is Embla the beautiful Embla and she is also rocking around, but it's okay. Today, we are gonna go uh, into town and I'm gonna uh, vote actually, because this uh, fall, it is uh, election for uh, uh, Stortinget, which is uh, the ruling government of this democracy. Yeah, I'm gonna try to cast my vote. Hopefully I can, but uh, I'm not really sure. Since I'm actually, uh, according to the Norwegian authorities, I live in Sweden. And uh, if that's not enough, I don't really have a place to live at all, since I am living <coughs> uh, in my boat. Uh, so that means I'm homeless, according to the Norwegian authorities. So we will see how this goes. This here is the place. Gorgeous building. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so far so good. Uh-huh. And there are all the ballot votes. Now it's done. And on to the next thing. Now oh, I knew it was that easy. Now I have to fill out a form. So that I will re-register in uh, uh, whatever in Norway. Um, now I've got it done. I've done my, is it civic duties or something? And uh, then I got into this art installation on the square here, town square. It's kind of cool though. I guess it's supposed to be, uh, I don't know, someone's home. What a cool picture. I guess he... This is probably from uh, Slab City, I think. Christian Sun is actually a, not a big city, but it's not a small city either. So it has everything. And uh, I really like it. There are so many cool buildings and atmosphere here in Kristiansand is relaxed and nice. There's only one thing though, is that, uh, and I probably shouldn't say this, but they haven't learned to talk Norwegian yet. <laughs> uh, sometimes I have to ask them twice or even three times <laughs> to repeat because you can't get what they're saying. It's some mix up of uh, Norwegian and Danish or something. But it sounds nice though. So here you can see how the, the whole Molo or this uh, port here moves around. And it's a fairly big boat. The first one here, it's called Sweet Dream. And um, it's from Seattle. They have had a long sail to get there. We're rookies too, that's right. So 
now we are on board this American vessel. Ah. What's your name? Lars Larsen. No. See? Si, yes. Really? Yeah. Lars Larsen? Yes. So you have a my, Norwegian heritage? My great grandfather immigrated from Oslo, a farm just south of Oslo. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, cool. As I was talking to Lars and Carol on the Sweet Dream Boat, they were telling me a bunch of stuff on their, about their trip and where they were heading. And it was a really great talk and really great people. And I filmed a lot. Unfortunately, when I was leaving the boat, I realized that camera had shut off due to full memory. So <laughs> that was a bummer. Now we are heading down this way here with shabby and it is pouring rain uh, outside so um, yeah i guess we're both a little wet but there's supposed to be a cool lighthouse down there which i would love to see so i'm heading down there to take a look yeah got to check out the lighthouse hi there my name is captain ahab I'm an old-time fisherman. Here we are. That's the trail. It's kind of steep. Uh, <coughs> these are the lighthouse buildings. Uh, just said that it was built 1832 I think it was and <clears throat> they rebuilt it or changed it or something in 1874 people used to live here like all over the coast you have the lighthouse keeper and his family and they they just lived here all year and there's that small bell And there are two lighthouses here so I guess if yeah I don't know if this is one is old and the other one is new but it could also be an alignment uh, lighthouse and there's the pilot boat heading out to meet a freighter or something to help them in it's a really foggy day though but I still love it. It is so beautiful here. It is a good day. Even Shabby thinks so, even though she hates the rain. Shabby! She really <laughs> hates the rain. But she's... She's kind of happy. She's not unhappy anyway. Now we are sitting here on, uh, yeah, Drunken Blue, the boat. Which is here in Kristiansand. And uh, this here is hey, the captain. The this here is the captain. We of course have and a he big woofer. No, you can't see it. It's too ah, dark. Too dark. And ah. this is his uh, liveaboard boat. Uh, and uh, this is his uh, brother-in-law, yeah, exactly. actually, yeah. from Denmark. Yeah. So represents. Uh, huh? <laughs> represents. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, kind of a big boat. It's a steel boat. And all of this is a saloon area. And he was uh, gracious enough to buy me a beer. So thank of you. Of course, of course. Cheers, my mate. Cheers, cheers. And to you, Denmark. Skull. Skull. Happy is good. And that is Christian Sand. And we are heading down to Mandal or Lindesnes. It depends don't matter. This is Udrøya. A very nice island to walk the dog. And I kind of liked it. No, not kind of liked it. I liked it a lot. Kristiansand was a, a great place.
something on the land, on the beach, or what? Kind of looks like it. At least the one there. Nah. That is so cool. So now we have reached uh, Mandal, and I am down here at the beach. It is a really gorgeous sandy beach. The sail today, uh, I gotta say, you know, when you sail alone, it gets a little boring, you know, because nothing happens. You go, go out there, you hoist your sails, and then you take them down again when you reach the next harbor. So uh, I didn't film much, I filmed a little, but not much at all. And hopefully tomorrow uh, I will go down to Lindesnes uh, because uh, the weather forecast says that it's going to be strong winds on Monday, uh, like really strong, like uh, some 28 knots or something. And uh, I want to be in in uh, Lindesnes by then. Now, disaster has struck Embla here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, I was just sitting down to eat some uh, dinner. And, uh, and of course, I was uh, making spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, like here. Ah! <laughs> Lovely, lovely, but I re just realized something when I was making this. I was down to my last, my very last can of uh, meatballs, so now I'm kind of devastated. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Should I eat something else, perhaps? <laughs> ah, just kidding. I'll buy some more. It's occupied. I said it was occupied. Seriously? What? Oh, it's you guys. Hi there. I'm a little busy in here, you see. But I guess that this is the end, the very end of this episode and uh, thank you guys for watching and I better get back to what I'm doing but uh, don't forget to give me one of these and please subscribe to Sailing Embla and catch you next time. Bye bye!